If you're just learning how to swing, in this video we're going to share a few drills you can do to help you speed up the process. Now the swing is a hinge movement, which some people say is the most powerful human movement. A hinge movement is where you're generating your power from the thrust of your hips forward. Let's dive into the drills so that you can start mastering the kettlebell swing. So we're going to cover the kettlebell deadlift, the dead stop hike pass, we're going to do the dead stop swing, we're going to use a rag to help us perfect the swing and we can do that as a dead stop swing as well and then we'll do the full swing at the end. With the kettlebell centered between your feet and in line with your ankles, what you're going to do is you're going to take your hands and like with a karate chop, a uh, knife blade hand, you're just going to press into your, the crease of your hips and just push your hips back. Just keep pushing them back. And then as you do that, just gently let your chest fall and your knees bend. And you'll end up with kind of this modified shortstop position. So a shortstop position is a little bit like this. If you just slid your hands down towards your knees, you'd be in this shortstop position. And then with the swing, we're just kind of, we get a little bit further lean and the hips a little bit further back. And you should feel a nice, a nice tightness in your hamstrings in the back of your legs. So from here, you reach down and grab the kettlebell and as you grab it, you want to tr try and think about breaking the handle in your hand and then maintaining a flat back and a neutral spine, a neutral head position, just stand up and then push your hips back. Just think about pushing your hips back. That's all you want. You should always feel like your toes are coming off the ground and place the kettlebell back in the same position as you lifted it from and stand up and shake it out. That, in a nutshell, is the kettlebell deadlift. And this is an excellent way just to learn the proper setup and the hike. So again, I'm gonna be standing here, feet hip widths apart, toes straight or slightly out, kettlebell is about a foot in front of me. I'm gonna karate chop my hips, push my hips out without letting my knees slide forward. I'm gonna reach down, grab the kettlebell, tilt it toward me. I'm gonna imagine I'm trying to break the handlebar. I'm gonna find that key tension point in my hips and I'm gonna quickly pass the kettlebell between my legs. I'm gonna let it swing. I'm gonna put it back down. And so the same thing with this drill as with the kettlebell deadlift and with all the drills that I'm going to share with you in this video you want to do sets of three to five and as I said it's a good idea to shake it out and between each rep that's totally fine you don't have to do a rep consecutively consecutively do your setup again hike the kettlebell between your legs let it swing and replace it so now, here we're going to show you, this is the dead stop swing. So we're actually, you're only gonna do one swing here. So you're gonna set up again. And again, all, all these things, the kettlebell deadlift, the dead stop height pass, the dead stop swing, all are giving you lots of reps in the setup. And that is one of the most important parts about getting the swing off correct, getting the swing started Correctly. So here I am again, hip, my feet hip widths apart. I'm going to karate chop at my waist, pushing my hips back without letting my knees slide forward. I'm going to reach down and grab the kettlebell. I'm going to tilt it towards me. I'm going to raise just slightly, adjust my hips so that I can find that sweet spot in the tension in my hips. Okay 
grab the kettlebell, feel the weight in my, in my heels, and then hike past, and then stand up. Let it swing a couple times, shake it out, and do it again. So here we go. Karate chop. Grab the kettlebell, both hands. Imagine you're trying to break the handle. Find that sweet spot of tension in your hamstrings. It's neutral spine, neutral head. Hike the kettlebell between your legs. Stand up. Come down, shake it out and do it again. And again, you're gonna do those in sets of three to five. All right, there I got a little bit of a head rush on that one. But that's the dead stop swing, where you're doing one swing at a time. You're practicing that initial standing up. Now we're gonna just do a couple of swings. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do three swings. So I'm gonna do the first swing, and then two and three, and then I'm gonna replace the kettlebell to the ground. So we're going for the full swing here. So again, I get my setup, feet, hip widths apart. See again, the setup is a repetition and you wanna think about it every time. Make it good every time. Feet, hip widths apart, roughly. Toes pointed straight or slightly out. Karate chop at the hips, push your hips back. Get into this deep, uh, short stop position. Don't let your knees slide forward, reach down. Grab the handle. Imagine you're trying to break it in your hand as you tilt the kettlebell towards you. Find that sweet spot in your hips. Get ready. And hike the kettlebell between your legs. And then replace the kettlebell down in front of you, nice and gently. So I'm going to show you one last drill that you can do. And this will require like a dish towel or a napkin. I just have a shop rag here. And so I'm going to use the shop rag to hold the handle of the kettlebell instead of my hands. Because one of the things that can happen is with people who are just starting to learn how to swing is they think that they need to lift the swing up with their hands or not the swing lift the kettlebell with their hands and the kettlebell is being lifted by the force generated by the hips as the hips come forward as the hips snap forward they're passing that or transferring that force that they're creating through the trunk, through the arms, to the kettlebell, and the kettlebell is just lifting up. With the swing, you are not lifting the kettlebell with your arms. That's how you can swing a person, that's how a person can swing a very heavy kettlebell without getting fatigued in their shoulders, just because they're not lifting it with their arms. All of the force that is being applied to the kettlebell is coming from the hips and this uh, rag drill will help show you will help you perfect the swing well first I turn the handle of the kettlebell so the handle is parallel with me um, instead of like perpendicular to me and I take the rag and I put it through the handle and then I can grab the rag very close. I don't have to be out here. I don't know if you can see this. I don't have to have a lot of distance between my hands and the kettlebell, the handle, the, the handle of the kettlebell. I can have my hands right down next to the kettlebell of the handle. You can have your thumb, you can have your thumb and your first finger touching the handle of the kettlebell as you do this. And then the setup is basically the same. So this is why it's a good drill to do later on, because after you've practiced getting in the position, you'll know what the position feels like. And then you tilt the kettlebell towards you. And imagine you're, you're still trying to think about breaking a stick in your hand here. And you hike the kettlebell between your legs. And then you can put it back down. Notice how the kettlebell comes out. It's like an extension of my arms. And that's how the rag helps, is because 
I have no control over the position of the kettlebell with my hands, where I might be able to try and do that if I had my hands on the handle. So the kettlebell comes out as an extension of my arms and is kind of, it's like it's, I mean, it wants to shoot forward and I'm only holding on to it with the rack. And so it's straight out. Now, if I try to lift this kettlebell, and this kettlebell is 24 kilograms, so it's 53 pounds. If I try to lift it with my arms and not my hips, you'll, you'll see, well, just watch and you'll see what happens. And I can, I can sometimes demonstrate this and sometimes not because I'm kind of used to doing kettlebell swings. So not doing them correctly takes a little bit of effort. But here, if I try to lift it with my arms, you see how the kettlebell is dropping like that instead of forward like that. So this drill will help eliminate the, the tendency to try to lift the kettlebell with your shoulders. And you can do this rag drill with each one of the other drills. Well, minus the kettlebell deadlift. So you can do this with the dead stop hike drill. Let it swing and put it down. And you'll notice when I let the kettlebell swing, my, I have this stable base. The kettlebell is just swinging at the end of my arms as if it was like at the end of a rope. I'll show you once again. I'll let it swing. Okay, and then shake it out. I can get my hands again nice and close to the handle, hands nice and close to the handle, and this is the dead stop swing. Stand up, reset, and then the full swing. Kind of tilt it towards me a little bit, brace it with my fingers. And back down. Stand up and shake it out. So those drills, kettlebell deadlift, the dead stop hike pass, the dead stop swing, the regular swing, and then using a rag to hold the handle instead of holding the handle with your hands, you can go through the dead stop hike pass, the dead stop swing, and the regular swing. And if you work on those drills for a few weeks, for 15, 20 minutes a day, a few, four or five days a week, at the end of that time, you'll have grooved a pretty nice looking swing. And again, the, doing multiple sets of three to five reps, working through these drills, doing the full swings, doing the swings with the rags, doing the dead stops uh, drills, will all help you initiate the swing properly. And that's the goal, because once you learn how to initiate the swing properly, then you can work on some finer things about the swing that will help you have a, I'm going to say world-class swing. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, please send me a comment and I will do my best to answer them. And good luck with your burgeoning, burgeoning, blossoming kettlebell journey. It's amazing. Kettlebells are fantastic and you have made a tremendous choice for your health and fitness.